If I can raise the hood on some of the psychological limitations I've had throughout the numerous failures I've had, I didn't have that self-awareness. I didn't have that self-identity. So it was easy for me to absorb all these things. And what happens over time is that becomes your identity. Mm. That it's dangerous. This is Caesar Walker, the cool, calm, collected one. And I'm Ronnie Gatry, the emotional one. And we are the Tipping Point Podcast, your source for the black male's perspective. Tipping Point Podcast. Do you think that an identity of who you are, what you're about, helps you get through some of those tough moments when you experience the adversity? 100%. Why do you think so? Because it, it really boils down to confidence and purpose. You know, two, two things we're not shy about talking about on this podcast. Yeah. And um, there, there's a deep value in knowing who you are and believing in who you are. Because it gives you that, that almost organic confidence to say, okay, I'm going to start my car wash business you know, mm -hmm. if you're if you're a Luis Rodriguez, you know what yeah, I mean? For sure. He knew he 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 started with the end in mind. Thanks. <laughs> and there was nobody that could tell him any different. Yeah. And I'm pulling out all kinds of stuff. But I thought about him when you were talking about throw yourself at something as if your life depended on it. Thanks. You know what I mean? Yeah. So without pulling too many samples from <laughs> other episodes, that's that's my simplistic answer. Yeah. And. Yeah. Coming from a person who hasn't always had that, it's easy to really define failure inwardly because you can, you can tattoo it into your, into your, you know, psyche or whatever. Yeah. If you have no self-identity. Do you, and, and, and I think to, to balance it, because we have an ego, all humans have an ego. And I think for men, we're driven towards achievement. And I think that's a good motivator, but I think the problem comes into place is when we don't hit our target. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So what you end up having is the highest of highs and some extremely lows, low lows, right? Yeah. And this is not, you know, this is for us. Like, how do we balance that? Right? Because again, when you talk, when you talk purpose, when you talk purpose, you're talking about striving towards a goal. Again, the disappointment comes in is when you're on course and you get off course. Whether you're knocked off course, there's traffic, accident, you're being rerouted, whatever happens, whatever life throws at you, you get off course. And whatever emotions that come with you being off course, you know, naturally you know you got a gps it routes you but you don't know where you are you don't know where you're even going where i don't where is this place hey i'm supposed to be here at this time so there's a there's a frustration there's a you know what i mean that think of all the emotions that come with getting detoured off of your off of your path how do we balance our psyche in those moments i think the first thing you got to do is own the fact that you're not perfect. <laughs> own also own the fact that you're going to shoot a lot and you're going to miss more than you make. Yeah. That's just a part of life. Yeah. Um, but then the bigger thing or the biggest thing is acknowledging like, okay, <laughs> I'm going to take a shot and miss it. And I say this figuratively, I'm going to take a shot sure. and miss it. But to your point, I can still get the rebound. <laughs> Still put it back in. <laughs> still the same two points. Right, but you, you got to believe that. Yeah. You really do. And, yeah. you know, if I could raise the hood on some of the psychological limitations I've had through throughout the numerous failures I've had, I didn't have that self-awareness. I didn't have that self-identity. So it was easy for me to absorb all these things even the most micro failures, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And, and what happens over time is that becomes your identity. Mm. That is dangerous. Mm. It is. And it takes a lot to get out of that. Yeah. But um, in, ter in terms of balance, I think it starts there because I, I really, I really feel like 
if I'd have had a deeper belief in myself going through some of those, I wouldn't have wallowed in it for nearly as long as I did. Yeah. You know, I can, I can, I can fail now or what I deem to be fail, fail now and look at look at the the silver lining in it, or find the silver lining in it. I've, I talked about my my life and times of being an imperfect father. You know, yeah. I think about that, and I you know, I I I will tell you, I've had several failures in that category just this week. <laughs> <laughs> just being right. real, you know. Right. I, I had my I had right. my youngest son catch me in a lie. Oh no! You know bro, what I mean? No, not a five-year-old. <laughs> and, and I didn't lie on purpose. Let's let's be clear. Like I didn't lie on purpose, but like here I am bringing the gospel to these <laughs> these boys in terms of telling them the truth, or not? Excuse me, in terms of letting them know how valuable it, how valuable it is to tell to be, the truth. To be honest, yeah. yeah. And then I got my five-year-old catching me in some mess. <laughs> That's a failure, Walker. <laughs> I but hear you. I hear you. But my viewpoint on that is not well. <laughs> I'm the worst dad on earth. You know what I mean? I'm a I'm a dad who realizes he's got flaws. I'm a dad that's also committed to getting it right. Right. So right. that I think that is a good example of the balance that you just asked about. Good. I, I like that. That was good. Um, and, and and bro, like I'm sorry, Walker. <laughs> Is your mic on? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't mind being a broken record about this. This one thing I'm about to say. But one of the biggest keys for me is having that friggin' community of other men who are failing as well. <laughs> yeah. You know, and and seeing that, okay, I'm not on an island. I'm not the only worthless piece of human flesh out here not saying that, other, that, that was heavy sheesh <laughs> that was heavier than i've ever to <laughs> <laughs> everyone in the community feel that same way <laughs> i didn't really mean for it to come out that way but like you know i'm not the only one trying to get this right yeah. it's, it's other guys other great guys out here who i've once thought from externally got it all figured out no nah, they figured it out too yeah. And so you talk about a key cog and helping get me out of that rut, that community, man. I agree. Don't give me any more time because I'll talk 80 minutes about that. Dude. We'll let you know if you need if we got, you got some filler. I'm just shocked. Like if you go back and listen to like the last eight minutes, that's like the most emotionally mature I've ever heard you speak. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, I'm, 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 I'm shocked thank I'm you like, black thank you black and like i've said therapy works <laughs> takes some of us longer <laughs> but yeah but I, no no all jokes aside i really appreciate that <laughs> go back and listen to it to I'm, this right now no well when you get chance oh. like <laughs> no <laughs> right now yeah, yeah, stop. <laughs> um yeah no like you were very succinct and I was following you like it like, yeah, uh, it, that's actually incredibly good advice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, and it's not like that's the first time no, ever you've done that. But no, I'm just saying I'm shocked like the black just acknowledged it. <laughs> no, I, I was waiting for you it like, oh, it. he's going to go left soon. He's going to go. Nope. He stayed right on. <laughs> on it. He was like right down the center. I'm like, goodness. That boy, we are shining. <laughs> black. What do you think? What do you what do you think in terms of because you again, we're driven to achieve. And I think it's easy. It, it, you you mentioned it earlier about how because you was not where you were in life, there were certain things you stayed away from, like your your high school reunion. Yeah. How, I, how do you balance the way you know what I'm saying? How do you how do you address those moments when in the moment you're not where you want to be? How do you keep how do you keep yourself and your image about yourself positive while you work through those things? I guess that's it. It's like, if I'm not where I want to be, as long as I'm working towards it, I'm good. Yeah. As long as I'm making some steps to prog for progress, I'm good. If I wasn't doing anything, I don't know what kind of state I'd be in. Yeah. If I just accepted it and didn't yeah. try to do anything about it, but I'm not built that way. Yeah. I, I, 
the analogy I gave of getting off off course. I think you have to re- the to me I think I have I've trained myself to really look at adversity a lot differently than I used to. And I think that's been my maturation, Gatry. Is oftentimes I have a I've had the tendency to get detoured and treat that as though that was my destination. Well, that's not your destination. You still know where you're going, right? You haven't lost sight of where you're going. And the beauty of it is you have ways that can direct you back to where you're trying to go. Wait, W-A-Y-S, W-A-Z-E. <laughs> W-A-Y-S. Okay, th- I mean. Yeah. <laughs> let me, let me, let me, let me get my bars off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? Yeah, like I, yeah. I, I have the goal hasn't changed. The goal has not changed. So why should I change? You know what I mean? Oh yeah. So now, and, and, and this is where for me, this is where my character gets developed. There's not much character. And I talked about, we talked about this a few, uh, several weeks back. It's ideal, even preferred, for everything to go the way you want it to go. Oh, my gosh. How much character gets developed in that, though? It's usually when everything goes wrong that you have a growing opportunity, right? Right. It's an opportunity for growth, personal growth and development. So I have to determine... What's my why? What's my conviction? Why Why did I even set forth on this journey, right? And it has to be, it can't be something shallow. That's why when we talk about things like purpose, I think purpose is an extension of identity. When you find out who you are and what you're about, there's just certain things you do naturally or going to strive to do. If it's a shallow reason like money, I just want to be like most people quit those vain things. But once you got a real conviction about why you wanted to lose weight, Gatchery, it was, it was a little bit tougher to shake you off that goal than times in the past. Right. Right. And so I think for me, I have to remember, okay, who am I? What am I about? What am I about? I have to be able to see if I don't, if I don't address these addictions, I can't stand here, sit here today, look you in the face and tell you, Hey man, that's what I dealt with. Here's how I got past that. Right. I can't do that. That also that addiction is not who I am. I know where I'm going. I know who I'm bringing into this world. I know what kind of examples I need to set. So, This roadblock is just that it's a roadblock, but there are other roads and I, my destination is still in play. So I'm going to get to that destination because I left the house for a reason. (laughs) I'm not going back home. I left the house for a reason. I set on this journey in life for a reason. There's a reason I'm here. And for me, like that roadblock is just another way for me to to really develop myself, my character, and learn from it. Because these are lessons I can turn around and give the next person who set out on their journey. Hey, man, watch out for this. Watch out for that. Just like we did last week and weeks prior. I'm telling people stuff. You don't have to run it. You don't, your trip can be shorter because you're taking advice from people who hit those roadblocks, who hit those issues. And so for me, my, my, I just want to, I want people, I want people to, to basically have a shorter travel time to their destiny. Yeah. It's really my ultimate desire and passion. And if I can share with you my mistakes along the way that I've, I've overcome, I've managed, I've, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then it's all worth it. And I can look back at those obstacles 
in a different way. And from just from me speaking for Walker, there's no way that can be a failure. Cause look at, look at who it's benefiting. Look at who, you know what I mean? And so I, I, I think it's, I think it's okay for men to talk about their failures to your point. I think it's, 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 it's necessary for us to have a community of men. I remember something black said a while back is it's just good. I think when you were, you was looking for jobs or when you look for jobs, it's good to know that you wasn't the only one having to deal with that. And so I think there's safety in numbers in that regard. So I, I echo your sentiments heavy on that. Take the point podcast.